Hey there guys, so what we're talking about today is uh, aortic insufficiency and aortic valve uh, regurgitation. So uh, if you're new to all this stuff, you'll notice this is the ultrasound wand. This is the beam that it uh, projects, the sonic beam it projects. This is the 3D model of the heart, and this is what we're going to see. This is the actual ultrasound image that you see in the clinic. If you're new again, please remember this green dot corresponds to this green dot to help keep you oriented. So I'm going to play the video and we'll see the ultrasound wand pan up through the heart. Notice here that as we see on this beam projected over top of the rendered heart, this is the left ventricle and this is the right ventricle. And what's going to happen is we're going to work our way up as we work our way up this direction towards the top of the heart, you're going to notice that this left ventricle um, begins to narrow. We're going to go through one of the valves, and then it's going to begin to narrow and kind of wrap around and end up in the aortic valve over here. So this left ventricle is pushing blood. It's eventually going to come out here, push blood to the aorta, and the aortic valve that we're going to stop at is going to be at about this level. So let's see it. So that's the mitral valve. It's wide open right there. That's it closed. And we're moving up, and we're going to get to the level of the aorta right now. Okay, so I'm going to pause it here and draw for just a second so you guys can see exactly what's going on. So one of the points of uh, the aortic valve is to serve as the barrier between the left ventricle and the aorta, right? So the left ventricle is over here. I'm going to draw this really poorly. So this is the edge of the heart. And the job of the left ventricle is to push blood out through here, through the aorta, the rest of the body. So that's the aortic valve. And it separates this chamber of the heart from the rest of the body. So this contracts, squeezes all the blood out, and the blood is at higher pressure up here. And as this relaxes and you develop sort of a, a negative or a lower pressure, um, this aortic valve is supposed to close to prevent any blood from rushing back down this way. Now, as we can see here, in just this moment, the valve itself is not perfectly closed. There's still a channel to send blood through here from the aorta back down to the left ventricle. And that's what uh, we want to avoid. So that's the pathology that we're looking at. Let me erase all my marks here. And we'll play the video for just another second. Here we go. You'll see he'll pan back through it again. And you'll see that the valve itself never quite fully closes. And that's the problem. This right here, you should see this be closed there, and that should all meet. Those are the three leaflets, the three leaflets of the valve right there. And here at their, at their tightest point, they're not quite closed. This would be one leaflet. This would be the other. And this should be the third. There's still a little gap right there in the middle, and that's a bad thing. So this can happen for a couple of reasons. Uh, a major reason is actually idiopathic. They don't understand. The uh, aorta begins to dilate for some reason, and this makes it obviously harder for the uh, leaflets of the valve to close. And also endo endocarditis can get in here and affect and sort of eat away at the uh, at the aortic valve leaflets, uh, preventing them from completely doing their job. So you'll notice right there, this is um, this is aortic valve insufficiency and one of the causes of aortic regurgitation.